today's kind of a cheap day. What I'm planning on doing is uh, foraging some wood. And uh, cleaning up the camp area, the fort area a little bit. Got to figure out exactly how much space I've got to work with, where I'm going to put things. Yeah, it's mostly about gathering some suitable wood, bringing it back to the campsite. And next time I come out, plan on making a little saw table. Just doing a few little, little things to make it easier throughout the process. Don't want to get halfway through the build and then realise Hey, I should have brought, built some sort of saw table right at the start. Preparation is the key. Can't be a prepper if you're not prepared. Let me stop for a quick drink. And, uh, I'll get back to it in a sec and then I'll grab the camera and show you what I've done. As I was saying, yeah, the biggest change is out here, uh, bushfires and old abandoned mine shafts. I'm sure as you know, when a big tree falls over, quite often lifts up quite a bit of dirt with the roots and that's what I thought this was. But, 
Well, there's quite a few others in the area. They look like this. And you think, oh yeah, there's a tree that's fallen over. And I've walked a few, walked a few, walked through quite a few of them. I'll be thinking twice about doing that again after seeing this one. I'm uh, not going to get too close to the edge because that's all very soft soil. Uh, something's, got, something's running my eye. Alright, so hopefully I don't drop the camera down there. Probably gives you a good hint. But, uh, see that, that edge? That is uh, not stable at all. Get a good grip on the camera. I have no idea how deep that one is. Hopefully you can see down. There's another one just over there that I almost fell down because it doesn't have a big mound like this. Not, thankfully that one's only about 10 foot, 12 foot deep. But it'd be a bastard to get out of if you fell down there. This one here, I have no idea. But as I said, I won't be going near that edge because that soil, if you call it that, is uh, really soft. It just crumbles under your feet. I think probably the only thing holding it together really is the roots from the trees around it. So yeah, always be careful when you're going through an area that you're haven't been through before. Obviously I'm aware this is a gold mining area at one stage. To find big shafts like that is a uh, that aren't covered up is a bit rare. Normally when you hear of them in the area it's ones that were slightly or partially covered and someone's stepped on it or ridden a motorbike on it and fallen down alright so what have I done today doesn't look like much actually and trying to get some straight wood as you can see been somewhat successful But a lot of it's really burnt or fell quite a long ago. Quite a long ago. Geez, I'm talking well today. It's either really burnt or it's dead fall that's been on the ground for a while and is rotten. So yeah, finding straight, dead, but not rotten wood has been the trick. There's lots of wood around. It'll just be a matter of picking through, finding what I can, and then bringing it back here. Obviously I'm going to need a few different sizes, so everything from making framework to doing little bits of thatching. That's, uh, yeah, no more no more recording on the phone the first day out here I wasn't actually planning on recording anything but <clears throat> I figured since I had my phone I may as well record a few things as I was walking along trying to find this area this is sort of be on the outside of the fort I'll go from the tree here to the and your backpack is across up to here so not exactly a square but fairly close at the moment I'm sort of coming up with an idea for here I'll have a wood storage area just here then put 
bedding area there, seating area there, got a kitchen there, fireplace in here, the door out and I'll make this like a little work area. I'll build a little saw bench and chuck in there, cutting all the wood. That'll definitely be part of the next episode though. Because of course I'm out here at the hottest time of the day. And uh, it's actually just starting to cool down right now. Just as I'm talking, which is great. But um, I've got to get back into town. But at least got a bit of wood, cleared out a little bit of space, come up with a little bit of a plan. Got an alternative path to get here now. We don't have to take the same way all the time, so if someone sees me walking over here, they uh, hopefully will just think I'm walking around and not actually doing something. But I could hear motorbikes out here before, but I couldn't actually see them, and I very much doubt they see me, even though I'm wearing a bright yellow, which I wear for safety reasons if something happens. I don't want to be blended into the wood and all gillied up. No one can freaking find me. So a couple of bright, this is why these are on here too. I left those warning stickers on, the little bungee cords, just in case. I need to be spotted. Remember it's good to have a few visual things, visual aids for either occasion. Sometimes you don't want to be seen, so it's good to blend in. Other times you might need help, and if you're blending in you won't be seen, so a few bright items, things like safety yellow or orange or pink oh. yeah. well, I've still got to walk back to the car pack up my gear it's pretty easy I was going to make a little bag toggle but that was there and it works perfect just strong enough to hold and we're going to overfill my bag I'll take my walking stick with me this time leave it up near the road last time I left it here leaning against a tree like that and we had a big storm come through three days ago so pretty surprised to see it still standing but it was I think it's obvious why I keep the bag up there it's less likely to get a whole bunch of bugs That's the saw I've been using for the day. It's nothing special. Just a fold out saw. That's what I'll be using for most of the series pretty much. So gloves in the bag. Everything except for a camera, so Actually, I might keep the camera on for a minute until I find this other mine shaft back up here and I hopefully find it the good way with my eyes and not my feet. Just need a not longer than it does to cut it. 
As I said, I'm not going to be cutting any live branches or live trees. Although I did accidentally knock a live branch off before when I felled that dead tree. Yeah, the only reason I actually realised that was a mine shaft and not just a bit of a little bit of a crater because I went to put my camera up there and I kind of slipped and I looked over the edge and went, oh shit, don't fall in there. That could be interesting to get a rope and There's a tree, one well, of these big trees back over here. Not, I wouldn't trust them. Well, that's a pretty big fucker. I don't think that'd go anywhere, but still. I've actually got a maid who's caned in uh, all that sort of abseiling gear stuff. It's his job, so. I could uh, go down and have a look and see just how deep it is, but. There's also the thing of how much oxygen's down there. You can't just go diving into holes without an oxygen meter. Just by the time you feel lightheaded and start making your way out, you could pass out before you get out or get back to a somewhere where it's got a safe oxygen level. Now, where the fuck am I going? I think it's just here, this other one. And you know what? I've got me walking stick. Got me walking stick. Probably not the best area to be going through at night time. Especially not without a walking stick. I'm going to put the stick in front of you and it goes in a hole instead of you going in a hole. I reckon that is it just here. No big mound like the other one. Ooh. It is actually put a log over it before when I found it. Again, don't want to get too close to the edge. You can see that's not really, really deep. Let's give it go. Looks like it might go under there. Yep. Yeah, as you can see, that's how people fall down them. See one just like that. So I've walked through probably 30 of these just like that some are from trees falling over and some are abandoned mines alright thanks again for watching Bushcraft Bozo the purpose bug out for slowly getting there but more to come.